Hello everyone. Welcome to St. Philomena's PU College official channel. I am Arokya Das, faculty of Department of Biology. Hope everybody are doing well. I would like to give you a small introduction. This is a pre-recorded class. Okay. Most of you may be thinking why not online classes. Pre-recorded advantage because last year when we were having a uh, online classes, most of the students were not getting connected with the class on time. And uh, you, you know, many internet issues. Now, we plan to have a pre-recorded class because most of the parents said that they have only one mobile and two, three children and they need to use, uh, all of them use uh, require this uh, mobile for online classes at the same time. So, we plan to have this pre-recorded classes so that you can watch this video whenever you want and n number of times. Any number of time you can watch. Okay. You can play, pause, rewind and watch the class again and again so that it will be beneficial for the student. Okay. So, there is no uh, time restriction for you to uh, come and attend the classes. So, this is a major advantage of this pre-recorded classes. And... Uh, I congratulate all of you for choosing St. Philomena's College for your higher studies now. Okay, so now uh, I request everybody to have a pen and a book. Okay, before starting the class, everybody should make a practice to use a pen and a book while attending this online classes or pre-recorded classes. For biology, okay, I suggest you to have a, a hundred pages long notebook okay zoology so uh hence uh, this is a biology class uh hope everybody will be knowing that biology is having two main branches okay it is having two main branches one is botany the other one is zoology okay I'll just a single line definition i'll just uh, tell you a botany is a branch of biology that deals with the study of plants, whereas zoology, the same uh, branch of biology, but deals with the study of animals. Okay, so uh, I will be dealing with the latter definition, what I said, that is the uh, zoology. I will be dealing most of the classes in zoology. To start up with, okay, to start up with, I will be engaging a chapter uh, called Kingdom Animalia. Okay, chapter 4, Kingdom Animalia. And I also uh, suggest you to stick on to the uh, Karnataka prescribed textbook. I am uh, stick, I will be precisely sticking on to the syllabus that is prescribed by the Karnataka and the textbook. I will be following you. Uh, I will be following also will be the same textbook. So I'll be not going out of the textbook. Okay. I may, uh, if I give extra information outside the textbook, the students who are weak in biology, they may not understand the class. So I will be sticking precisely to the syllabus in the textbook. And note that the textbook is uh, uh, already 15 years old. The information in the textbook is uh, uh, like 15 years old. So you may be knowing extra information and all, and you may come across some doubt and all. So you can make it as a point and when we meet in online class or else in the classroom you can get the doubts cleared okay so uh, not wasting any more time i'll enter into the class okay as i said i'll be starting up with kingdom animalia now why i chose kingdom uh, you may be thinking why chapter four not why not chapter one okay so uh, animal kingdom or kingdom animalia this part you would have already studied in your high school okay and maybe two three points extra you're going to study here hence your chosen pcmb or pcm bh okay biology as your uh, uh, chosen subject you will be something like a, a mini biologist now so whatever you have studied in the school we are going to study uh, in detail now okay not in detail in the sense don't get uh, afraid okay uh, we will be studying three to four extra points. That's it. Okay. So don't get afraid of biology in the beginning. So that's why I chose this kingdom animalia so that it will be easy for you to understand and to uh, revise and study to pick up first PUC. Okay. Now that is the first uh, reason I chose kingdom animalia. And the other reason is this, uh, as I said, it is a part of zoology I'm going to teach you today. 
this kingdom animalia or animal kingdom is the pure zoology that you are going to study pure zoology in the sense you will be studying physiology okay and other parts of uh, zoology but here Uh, pure uh, zoology in the sense only regarding animals the information is only regarding animals you are going to study and this part you are not going to study in second pc also and if at all you are interested in national geography and animal planet and animal planet uh, such type means this should be an interesting uh, chapter for you because you are going to study the basics of zoology in this particular class okay so uh, we'll get into the class and uh, if you see uh, you can uh, the screen is uh, there in front of you uh, i i'll be using the word slide because i have prepared a powerpoint and the information whatever is displayed in front of you on the screen is mainly taken from the textbook itself okay you may feel some information is less you may feel some information is more or whatever it is but as i said i am precisely sticking on to the information that is given in the textbook if at all you are having any other doubts and all miss make it a note in the book what i have suggested you mark it write it and bring it uh, when i come on online classes or in the classroom session okay so now in the first slide we are going to study the basis of animal kingdom classification means what is the basis means ಯಾವ್ದಾದ್ರೂ ಒಂದು ಅನಿಮಲ್ ನ ನೀವು ಓದ್ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಅದ್ರದ್ದು ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಇಂದ ಓದ್ಬೇಕು ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಯು ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟ್ಲಿ ದಿಸ್ ರೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯುವರ್ ನರ್ಸರಿ ಯು ಮೈಟ್ ಹವ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದ ಆಲ್ಫಬೆಟ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಎ ಫಾರ್ ಆಪಲ್ ಎ ಬಿ ಫಾರ್ ಬಾಲ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಯು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿಂಗ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಸೆಂಟೆನ್ಸ್ and then paragraphs exactly like that now we are going to study animals and we are going to group them okay from simpler forms to higher complex forms okay simpler forms okay uh, you might have studied amoeba and like uh, you also studied humans okay so you may be knowing a simple basic difference between amoeba and uh, humans man so the uh, in front of your screen there are some points okay there are some points <coughs> okay so to study the animals to group the animals you should be having some basis iga animals na you study maadi adanna group maadbeku andre adike salpa eno parameter anta helbodu adike ondu a basis anta helthiva adu irbeku so you need to have some basis to classify them for example if you ask a layman to classify the animals he may tell fishes as one group because they live in water i'm speaking about layman who don't know exact biology okay and they may also tell birds are different group and animals are different group like that so th- they are having some basis for example fishes they live in water so they group them in one group or uh, birds can fly so they are a different group and animals cannot fly so they will tell prani pakshi gulu birds and animals separately okay but that's what that now we are going to study biology in detail so uh, as, uh, to be specific uh, as a biologist we need to have some bases and i have mentioned the bases okay uh, there are six bases in your textbook that i have mentioned here so you need not keep on writing when i am teaching the in the class now okay you can just pause the video you can take a screenshot and you can write it down in the uh, book as uh, as uh, as i am going in an order okay the same order you too can follow so Uh, i'll just read out the uh, bases and then we are going to study each one in detail in the next coming slides okay uh, first one levels of organization means a uh, body levels of organization in the animals body symmetry you may be uh, coming across new terms new biological terms don't worry because in the coming class i will be explaining in detail my starting 3 to 4 classes are very very important okay it's very very important because i'm going to give you the uh, basic uh, definitions and basic knowledge of classification of animals if you follow my two uh, three to four classes the remaining part of animal kingdom will be very very easy for you to study and understand okay so the first level, first uh, para, first base is levels of organization then the body symmetry and diploblastic and triploblastic type of body organization coelom development don't worry all the words i will be explaining in detail so segmentation of the body i'll tell you what is segmentation also and finally presence 
or absence of notochord okay so these <coughs> excuse me these six bases we have to study in detail okay in detail so now at this stage you can take a you can just pause take a screenshot and note down or pause and write it down in your notebook we will study each one in detail now okay i'll move to the next slide so levels of body organization okay if you see i have mentioned four levels of body organization cellular level okay cellular cell okay cell level tissue level organ level and organ system level you may be familiar with these terms but i'll go little in detail now so before entering into this okay before entering to study into this i would like to tell you regarding a animal that you have already studied okay you can see i have drawn a amoeba on the screen now okay and you know that if i ask what is amoeba means you may tell like uh, sir amoeba is a single celled animal uh, the body is made up of only one cell it is having a nucleus and its body is uh, inside the nucleus it is uh, having cytoplasm or also we can call it as what protoplasm okay so this information and all you, you know and it is irregular in shape and all and it belongs to phylum protozoa also you will tell yeah why am i mentioning this because in your first pc textbook you don't uh, you are not going to study phylum protozoa once again phylum phylum for time being you can just keep in mind it is a group of animals that's it group of animal or group of plant phylum means group okay so why i mentioned amoeba because now uh, you are going to study 3 to 4 points regarding amoeba in the practical that's it in theory you are not going to mention about amoeba phylum protozoa okay so we are going to study directly cellular level of organization but if we if we were supposed to study uh, amoeba also uh, we would have say uh, amoeba's body is made up of only single cell and in the single cell if you see it is having dense protoplasm protoplasm matra ide idrolgade matte nucleus matte salpa cell organelles irutte and this protoplasm takes up all the body functions like it does uh, um, digestion excretion okay etc so movement also with the help of this protoplasm only so the maximum thing best thing formed in its body is the protoplasm and the protoplasm takes all uh, workload of the body and conducting all the functions so we would have said amoeba had protoplasmic level of body organization okay because protoplasm takes up all the work of the body so hence it is not there hence it is not there we will stick on to the information what is given in the textbook now the first one that we are going to study is <coughs> cellular level cellular level okay everybody uh, if i ask you will be knowing the definition of cell what is cell if i ask a structural and functional unit of cell uh, unit of life the definition what you people say in my uh, usual theory classes okay that's the correct definition now why cellular level of body organization cellular level of body organization means if you see in this organism the body is made up of numerous cell cell is the advanced structure you can find in the body and if you see these cells will take up different functions of the body like absorption digestion excretion reproduction everything is done by the cells only group of cells and if you see uh, there is an example in the textbook that is sponges what are these sponges sponges are nothing but the animals belonging to phylum porifera okay phylum porifera now phylum porifera after two three class we are going to study in detail so then your doubts will be clear for time being cellular level of body organization is found in the animals found in phylum porifera the animals of phylum porifera are also called as sponges okay sponges why we are going to study it okay so these organisms body is composed of only many cells multicellular organisms okay so that is cellular level of body organization speaking about tissue level of body organization tissue definition if i ask yeah the common definition what i get in my theory class is tissue is a group of cells 
similar in structure function and origin yes maybe def definition may vary uh, in making sentence but that is a standard definition i can accept it okay so tissue is once again multicellular organism okay but the cells are similar in structure similar in origin and similar in function now you may ask a doubt that what is the difference between cellular and tissue level in cellular also it is multicellular and tissue level also multicellular right so here <coughs> cellular level if you see yeah multicellular uh, multicellular means many cells are present but these cells are not grouped to form similar function to perform similar function okay they do not have similar structure but when you see tissue level the cells are advanced organized to form tissue so that group of cells are similar uh, in structure similar in function and they are originated also from same type of cell okay so in cellular level only group of cells are there but in tissue level these group of cells are uh, formed into tissues and these tissues will perform different functions like reproduction absorption digestion excretion etc okay so here if you see uh, cell enterata is given what is this cell enterata it is once again a group or it is a phylum phylum cell enterata so you may be wondering what is this phylum cell enterata as i said we are going to study it in detail after two three classes for time being if you are confused with cell enterata means you can keep example as uh, jellyfish everybody will be knowing jellyfish right <laughs> so jellyfish has tissue level of body organization okay now speaking about organ level of body organization organ you know organs means if i ask you to mention you will start explore, giving me examples like heart kidney liver okay something like that okay many examples are there so in this organism if you see it is <coughs> advanced now okay one thing you should keep in mind as i am progressing from 1 to 4 okay the body of the organism is getting advanced okay so in this organ level of organization these organisms possess organs in the body which have dedicated function okay this particular organ will do a specific function for example if you take a heart heart will do only the pumping of blood function kidney if you take only in excretion and osmoregulation so like that in these organisms the cells are modified into tissues and the tissues are uh, what uh, formed advanced form uh, and they are formed into organs and these organs take up specific function okay so if you take uh, example platyhelminthes once again what is this platyhelminthes it is nothing but a group or i can call it as phylum platyhelminthes platyhelminthes is a greek term or a latin term and in english we call it as flat worms okay we call it as flat worms and the higher phylum and higher group okay if you take flat worms a uh, flat worm also you will be knowing because planaria you might have studied tape worm uh, liver fluke these are all examples for flat worms and if you see these organisms their body is made up of organ level of organization organ level of body organization and finally to study the fourth one organ system level organ system level if you see this is the advanced form compared to all the four okay even we belong uh, in this category now even our body is organ system level of body organization here if you see the cells have converted into tissue tissue has formed organ and organ has become organ system for example if you see in our body we will be having nervous system we will be having circulatory system we will be having digestive system okay uh i think three examples are enough if you see digestive system will be involved in only digestion kidney if you see excretory system osmoregulation and excretion and nervous system coordination of our body okay so there are many other organ system in our body but uh, all these three examples are quite enough for you to understand this organ system level of body organization so this uh, these are the four levels by which you can group animals into different category so if you take entire animals this entire animals on this earth can be placed under any one of this four 
level of body organization okay at this stage you can just uh, pause the screen and take a screenshot or else you can just write it down in your notebook neatly okay so i will move to the next slide and if at all you are getting any doubt you just write down and make it uh, make a mark there okay that you are having some doubt or anything and when uh, whenever we meet up we can just clear that doubt so now speaking about digestive system digestive system in organisms okay now in uh, entire animal kingdom if you come across there is only there are only two types okay there are only two types of digestive system one is incomplete digestive system and the other one is complete digestive system once again the first one will be the primitive one that's why i have put it at the first okay and the second one will be the advanced one so incomplete digestive system so the definition is given there so in this type of digestive system there is a single opening may be getting confused right so better so for that i have put a uh, human digestive system on the right side human digestive system on the right side here you can see okay so this diagram most of you will be familiar right so now before getting into the definition we'll try to know do we really know what is digestive system yeah you will be telling digestive system sir mouth uh, food will go digestion will occur stomach uh, okay fine digestive system if you see if you see biologically i will just give you a small uh, definition or uh, sm uh, a small explanation on digestive system it is nothing but a tube okay you can call it as elementary canal so digestive system is nothing but a tube that runs from mouth it runs from mouth okay mouth and it ends with anus okay so it is a tube that runs from mouth to anus but this tube is modified at different regions to perform different function for example if i ask you the parts of digestive system you can see it is a just a tube okay but you will tell the parts as mouth pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine anus so that single tube is modified at different areas and Uh, it takes up different different function at different area okay if you take mouth it will uh, like mechanical digestion okay stomach chemical digestion intestine absorption anus excretion okay as uh, okay exactly like that so it is nothing but a tube called as elementary canal modified at different regions to perform different function so that is definition or uh, that is just the meaning of digestive system okay now we will study what is this incomplete digestive system okay just keep that knowledge that side that information aside and we'll start, try to study what is this two types of digestive system incomplete digestive system okay the digestive system which has a single opening so, yeah, i have put a schematic representation on the left uh, left uh, uh, left side of this slide you can see okay the first one i'm marking here you can you can concentrate on this arrow mark now okay reversible arrow mark i have put so this first uh, uh, representation a assume representation a so this small a represents incomplete digestive system now if you see this space is this space is the digestive system if you see in these organisms for example platyel means this liver fluke tapeworm etc in this organism the digestive system is formed but it is having a single opening it is having a single opening the digestive system only one day one opening ide a one day opening mouth mate anus age act madutte in this single opening acts as both mouth and anus food comes in this opening only it comes here it gets digested here it gets absorbed okay it gets absorbed into the body the uh, digested food gets absorbed into the body and after absorption the waste is sent out through the same opening food olgade bartade al digest uh, digest agutte amel absorb agutte and then the food is thrown out through the same opening so this type of uh, digestive system is called as incomplete digestive system coming on to the 
Next one, complete digestive system. Assume this is B, representation B. Here you can see there are two openings. Okay, this opening you can assume it is mouth and this side it is anus. You can also concentrate on the aromat now. Food comes through one opening, enters here, comes into the digestive system, gets digested, broken down here and the food is absorbed into the body. Once the food is absorbed, the remaining waste are thrown out of the body through another opening called as anus. Complete digestive system only erred opening is the day. One the opening mouth in the food enter agate, digest agate, absorb agate, our waste materials are in non opening in the each ogate, are in non opening na now anus and the curry TV. So these are the two types of digestive system, a uh, important question for your examination. Okay. At this uh, and uh, this diagram is not required for you here. Okay. We will be studying digestive system in detail later. So there we will tell whether you should read the diagram or not. Okay. Always keep in mind, we will tell you which are the important diagrams to learn and write it in the examination. So simply don't uh, try to learn all the diagrams in the, uh, whichever we are, uh, which we are, whichever we are showing you on the screen, don't learn all the diagrams till now. I have not said any diagram to be learned by you. Okay. So this is the, these are the two types of digestive system we study. Okay. We come across in the animal kingdom. So here you can pause the video and just uh, make a note of it. Okay. I'll move to the next slide. Okay. The next concept is circulatory system. Hope everybody are aware of this word circulatory system. In animals, if you see, there are two types of uh, circulatory system. One is open type of circulatory system. The other one is closed type of circulatory system. And by now you will be knowing that why have I placed uh, open type first and closed type second because open type of circulatory system is a primitive type of circulatory system. The closed type one is the advanced one. And uh, usually in a theory class, whenever I used to ask what is the circulatory system, you may fail to give the exact definition of circulatory system, but most of you will be knowing what a circulatory system is and what are the components present in the circulatory system. Okay, so whenever I used to ask what are the components, yeah, everybody used to tell like blood, uh, heart, blood vessels and some used to tell nerves. Okay, nerves is actually a wrong term. Okay, so in school, maybe you will be using this word nerves and all, but nerves is not a right term to be used in circulatory system. Uh, uh, nerves are part of nervous system that we will be studying in the uh, later classes. Okay, we will concentrate on the uh, concept now or the definition of circulatory system, uh, two types of yeah, circulatory system and the two types of circulatory system. Open type and closed type of circulatory system. Yeah, there are definitions uh, already on your screen, but I want you to remember a keyword to define these two types of circulatory system. In open type, you need to remember Okay. In open type of circulatory system, okay, exactly this is not a definition. You can tell in open type of circulatory system, there is no blood vessels or blood vessels are absent in open type of circulatory system. And when it comes to closed type of circulatory system, this circulatory system is made up of distinct blood vessels. Distinct means well formed, well defined blood vessels are present in closed type of circulatory system. So now if there is no blood vessels in open type, how the blood is passed, okay, how the blood is circulated and uh, how the nutrients are supplied to different organs, okay. So here you can see a schematic representation below open type of circulatory system. You can see a heart, from heart it passes through a channel and finally it will and the blood and the lymph passes in between the spaces that are present in the in between the organs the spaces present between the organs okay hence we call that liquid as hemolymph heme, heme means blood 
okay so blood circulates within the spaces formed between the organs that's why it is called as open type of circulatory system okay on the right side below this closed type of circulatory system you can see a schematic representation heart is there from heart the blood is passed through a channel and then it enters into a organ assume this is a kidney or uh, any other organ so the blood is passed to this particular organ and after uh, providing nutrients and uh, respiratory gases it takes away the blood from the same organ okay and everything is channelized and you can see there is a, a proper channel form for pure blood as well as impure blood that is oxygenated and deoxygenated blood okay likewise here in closed type of circulatory system there is well defined blood vessels okay and in that also if you go in detail uh, uh, the blood vessels which carry pure or oxygenated blood they are called as arteries and the blood that are uh, that carry uh, deoxygenated blood or impure blood we call it as veins and the uh, very thin blood vessels are called as blood capillaries etc okay so you need not worry about that one because we are going to study about uh, blood and circulatory system in a separate chapter so here you need to concentrate only knowing what are the two types of circulatory system one is open type the primitive one where blood vessels are absent and the blood is circulated within the spaces uh, formed between the organs and closed type of circulatory system where you find well defined blood vessels through which the blood is circulated throughout the body okay for open type of circulatory system you can see a grasshopper here you can also mention cockroach ant anibi or any arthropod and uh, for closed type of circulatory here this animal is earthworm you can also give example of human frog birds etc okay i hope this concept of circulatory system is clear for you now okay only you need to know the definition with example okay detailed uh, study regarding closed uh, circulatory system we will study in the coming classes okay so you now you can pause this uh, video and you can make a note of this as i mentioned you need to maintain a 100 pages notebook for uh, zoology and 100 pages notebook for botany okay so zoology you can note down each slide and you can make a handwritten notes and if you come across any doubt just make a note of it and when we meet in online class or us when we meet in the classroom session uh, we will clear the doubt so try to have a ruled or unruled notebook unruled will be better and if you cannot afford to uh, buy a notebook now you can also use any old notes okay old notes having 100 pages or 150 pages but keep that book dedicated for uh, biology class especially for zoology okay so i will be signing off from now in this first session we will meet in the second session of kingdom animalia okay do your homework study well take care